Hi everyone, now we will guide you on how to build the MVC Java web app using NetBeans and Spring Boot with me, DDJ, the author of Jamware.com. We are using Apache NetBeans 11.1 for this tutorial. NetBeans IDE development continues by Apache since version 9. You can use Eclipse, IntelliJ, or JDeveloper as well. By using Spring Boot, building a Java web app actually a little bit easier than creating Java projects manually using Maven or Gradle, especially when we are using Spring Initializer that will help you to create a set of application bundles with the supported dependencies. This tutorial divided into several steps. Step number one, generate Spring Boot Java web app. Step number two, create Java model and en or entity class. Step number three, create Java repository interface. Step number four, create Spring MVC controller. Step number five, create Spring MVC fuse. Step number six, run the Spring Boot Java web app. As you can see in the above steps, that build the MVC Java web app required a few steps. Starting from creating Spring Boot project, Java model, Java repository, Java controller, and Java view. This MVC Java web app also uses a database and we will use an H2 in memory database or HSQLDB. For the view and UI or UX, we will use TimeLeaf and Bootstrap. So, the following tools, frameworks, and libraries are required for this tutorial. Java Development Kit, JDK Edge, Gradle, Spring Boot, Spring MVC, Spring Data GPA, H2 Database, TimeLeaf, WebJars Bootstrap, Spring Initializer, NetBeans, Terminal, or CMD. We assume that you have to install NetBeans, JDK Edge, and Gradle in your machine. So we need just generate a new Spring Boot Gradle Java web app. Step number one, generate Spring Boot Java web app. We will create a new Spring Boot Gradle project using Spring Initializer. Spring Initializer provides an extensible API to generate quick start projects and to inspect the metadata used to generate projects, for instance, to list the available dependencies and versions. Just go to the Spring Initializer web based Spring Projects Generator, then fill the required frameworks and libraries. Choose Gradle projects. Choose language Java, Spring Boot version 2.2.2, group com gemware, artifact Spring MVC, dependencies Spring Web, H2 database, Thymy Leaf, Spring Data, GPA, Spring Data, GDBC After filling all fields, click Generate Project. It will automatically download the GIPS project. Next, extract the GIPS projects to your Java projects folder. Then open the folder from NetBeans IDE as a project. Use Open Projects toolbar. Next, from the Projects panel, expand the project name, then expand Build Scripts, and you will see the Build Gradle file. Open that file, and you will see this project information, plugins, repositories, and dependencies. Add this dependency for bootstrap and timely layout dialect inside dependencies body.
in NetBeans, right click the project name, then click build to build the project for the first time. Step number two, create JFL model or entity class. We will create a single table of product data for this Spring MVC Java web app. Now, we will implement the term M of the Spring MVC by creating a new Java model or entity. Right click the project name, new Java class, fill the class name as a product, package name as con jamware. Spring and VC models and leave other fields as default, then click finish button. The new Java class automatically opened, then replace all Java codes with these codes of Java entity. Auto generation ID, required fields, the constructors and getter and setter. Step number 3. Create Java Repository Interface Next, we have to create a product repository that extends the JPA repository for the product model. Right-click the project name, new Java interface, fill the class name as product repository. Package name Home Jamware Spring MVC Repository and leave other fields as default, then click the Finish button. The newly created file will open then op replace all Java codes with these codes. As you see, the product repository interface now extends the GPA repository of product type and it only has an additional query interface of find product by product name. Since Spring Boot 2.1, overriding is disabled by default. So, overriding this product repository will result in this error in runtime. To fix that, just open and edit resources, application properties. Then add this line to enable overriding. Step number four: Create Spring and VC controller. Now, it's time for C terms of MVC that means controller. To create it in NetBeans. Just right-click on project name, new Java class. Fill the class name with product controller package com jumper spring mvc controllers. Leave all the fields as default, then click finish button. Replace all Java codes with these codes of controller request mapping, request param product repository and all required CRUD methods that return the page for each CRUD operation. Step number 5. Create Spring and VC views. Now it's time of fee for the view of MVC pattern. 
Since we are using the time belief library for few template, so we can create the same layout for all HTML pages. Time belief is the Java XML, XHTML, HTML5 template engine that can work both in web, surface based, and non web environments. It is better suited for surfing HTML or HTML5 at the few layer of MVC based web application, but it can process any XML file even in offline environment. To create the layout, first create a default HTML file on the resource templates. Then add or replace it with these lines of codes. This HTML shows a layout template using Thymelief layout. To making this layout working, make sure you have additional dependencies of Thymelief layout dialect that previously added in the first step. All CSS and JavaScript file, put all that file and code once for all pages that use the default HTML as layout holder. Also, we call Bootstrap and jQuery on that file. Next, we create a few for the product list with the name product HTML. Then replace all codes to this file with this. Next, create a view for creating a product form with the name create HTML on the resources template folder. Then replace all code with this. Next, create a view for show product detail with the name show HTML on resources templates folder. Then replace all codes with this. Next, create a view for edit product with the name edit HTML on resources templates folder. Then replace all codes with this. Next, open and edit static HTML file, resources, static, index HTML, or you can create new ones if it doesn't exist. Then replace all codes with this. This index HTML is the first page that show up on the browser of the web application run. Next, add a little style by creating a new CSS folder inside the static folder. Then add a file style as CSS. Add these lines of CSS codes to this CSS file. Step number 6. Run the Spring Boot Java Web App. To run the Spring Boot app inside NetPin IDE, just click on the play button. In the toolbar, or right click the project name in the project panel, then click run. It's the same as typing these commands from the terminal.